Hello, if you're just coming in. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lessons Learned. I am very excited. We have one new guest and one repeat guest today. Um, Sway will be up first, and then we have Neek16. He will be up second. Hello, hello. Welcome to Lessons Learned, everybody. We're giving folks just another few, another minute or so to get here, and then we're going to go ahead and play the introduction. But I like for a few people to be here before we get going um, so that they can see the guests who will be here and whatnot. <clears throat> um, have we heard from Sway J? Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome to Lessons Learned. Oh, well, thanks, Paul. I appreciate the compliment. All right. Let's uh, see what's going on. And then we'll know, Neek, would you be available maybe a little earlier if I do the first part can be the self-care, self-love, and then we can have you get on a little bit later. Is that okay? Okay. Just in case. All right. So for those of you just tuning in, we are going to go ahead and get the introduction started. Can somebody please take care of that? That's enough. Thank you. Let's not leave that. <clears throat> okay. Uh -oh. questions but VIP doesn't mean I'm rich it means that I have support and I'm able to cash out and then buy diamonds and back to support my friends and I just happen to make enough that I'm able to do that it doesn't happen every month but um no it does by no means means I'm rich it means I stream too dang much <laughs> I mean if we're just going to be honest it means I stream too dang much right all right so guys please if you are not a guest on my show today Stop trying to get in my box. This is a featured show. It is not a free for all. All right. I, you get better deals when you buy. Okay, sorry. I wanted to set you as a bouncer. Sway, can you say hi again so I can set you for a bouncer as well, please? Okay. And then Sway, I'll have you on in about three to five minutes. And there you go, Sway. I just want to set you as the bouncer just because sometimes okay sorry okay hi everybody hi welcome to lessons learned i am silly lily and we have sway and neek 16 today you guys are gonna want to stay tuned um sway will be up first and we will be talking about how you can you you can try to help your friends but ultimately they have to help themselves first i i, I believe was sort of I, I think I totally changed the words around, but I think that was what we were trying to get across, right? Um, I do want to remind everybody that I am not a professional. My guests are not professionals. We simply experience something in life 
And we feel that our story could help somebody somewhere along the line in a motivational way, okay? So we touched briefly on the possible struggles, the history and how you had to get into this fight, right? Or whatever lesson you have to learn, you know? And sometimes, sometimes lessons can be rough. But um, we, again, we're not professionals. If you do find yourself super like struggling, um, I would just reach out to uh, your local therapist. I don't know. I think they have the 1-800 numbers. Um, and then in the middle, we'll do a little bit of self-care, self-love, right? But before I have Sway hop in the box, we do the Q&Q. &Q. And unfortunately, last week I was on vacation and it was a bit chaotic and I didn't have the Q&Q. &Q. So he's, he's, he's patiently waiting in the box. Yes. He is patiently waiting. Okay. So today's Q and Q, listen, cause I want all of you to give me an answer. I want all of you to give me an honest answer. It says, I think I'm the happiest I've ever been. Part of it is just learning what makes me happier and doing more of it and learning what makes me unhappier and doing less of it. What do you, how do you make yourself happy? How do you make yourself happy? What do you do? Because I still can't <laughs> avoiding drama. Yes, yes. Come on here. <laughs> and oh my God. Hi everybody coming in. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Lessons Learn. I'm Silly Lily and we are about to introduce Sway in just a couple minutes. Quinn says being me, dancing, singing, laughing. <laughs> Chad says I have no expectations. T says going out for a long walk. Tier one fella says he likes to eat. I can't really read the rest of that. I do want to make sure I thank you guys for all the favorites, for all the gifts, for just being here. Um, I know time is like precious. It's one thing you can't get back. So I appreciate you for spending a little bit of time with me. Miguel says flirting makes me happy. I can see that. It's like a little adrenaline booster, you know, gets you all excited. A good day of work. Yeah, a good, yeah. You know, hard working is it's yeah i like a good day's work like yesterday i got a lot done and it felt really good all right so sway are you ready because i'm about to introduce you into the box you guys now remember we stay positive we do not say negative things we do not say ignorant things just don't say anything really unless it's nice okay please um and Red again, make sure you're on top of that for me because this is there's just zero tolerance, um, especially during my show. Okay, um, now we're about to introduce Sway. This is my first time getting to meet him, so I'm excited. And uh, are you ready, Sway? I'm just gonna wait for you to give me the okay because I don't want to let you in and you know, you're not ready. I don't, all right, here we go. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Thank you for being here. How are you? I'm doing well. And yourself? Good. 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 Um, I'm actually excited for this topic because I'm, I'm struggling trying to help someone I truly care about, and it's like talking to a brick wall. So I'm, I'm excited to hear this. So I, I don't feel know. Like it happens to a lot of us. I feel like that's something that we all go through because we're like, it's in our nature. I mean, to to help those who we love and. It's hard to hold back from that sometimes. Yeah. So. Especially, especially, especially when you have kids like teenage or younger to kids in their younger twenties. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, so do I get into it? Do I just get, yeah, go for it. it? So you just go ahead and let them know, give, you know, introduce right. yourself, introduce uh, what you're going to talk about. And then if you're ready, go. All right. Well, my name is Sway and 
I stream on here. I started not too long ago, about a month month ago, nice. um, and I'm an artist. But today I'm going to be talking about why um, just because you help your friends doesn't mean that they're going to help themselves. And when you, my situation was that I had somebody living with me and he was originally had moved out of his parents' house because I'm young, I'm 23. Um, and he had moved out of his parents' house. He didn't want to live there anymore. And he went to move in with his girlfriend and his girlfriend ended up kicking him out. And I said, hey, don't go back to your parents' house. Come with me. Um, and I'll help you out. You know, I'll, I'll help you out until you make ends meet to, to help yourself out. And it took me so long to realize that I shouldn't be helping this person out because I could have caught on the first time could have caught on the second time because it wasn't like it wasn't one time that I helped him out it was multiple multiple times and I just kept doing the same mistake until eventually I realized that it was not my help that wasn't getting through it was it was his and me helping him so much put me in a vulnerable spot in in life where now I was struggling personally yeah. um and it was just because I kept trying to help somebody that was not going to help themselves. And, you know, sometimes you got to let people go and let them figure it out on their own, because if they're going to want, if they want to improve their, their lifestyle or whatever their issue, it could be, it could be their own, they're not making enough money or they're not happy in their relationships. Like, you know, you could give them advice, but don't give too much of your energy into that person because sometimes you might end up hurting yourself and you know taking away from from yourself so yeah ab absolutely I, I think we've all been there and I mean like I said again just like especially with kids or family you know you you know what they're capable of you see the potential and mm -hmm. and you want to help them you know reach goals that that they set before you know before they started screwing up or whatever the situation is you know so yeah, it's it's hard to just sit back and watch, but at the end of the day, when they're ready, realistically, they'll they'll they they know that we're there. We just have to let them make those decisions because yeah. we exhaust yeah. ourselves trying over and over. Yeah, we do, we do, and and I mean, every person is gonna go down their path. They're going to, you know some people say like some people say the more you tell somebody not to do something the more they want to do it so i feel like with kids especially that's that's um that's definitely the case like you you just gotta you know stay like you said be present yeah. but let them take their own path let them let them do their own thing because yeah we just tire ourselves out kind of doing that yeah, like good listeners, you know, she says, especially if they're pushing you down and they're not helping themselves and expecting you to do everything for them, you have to let go. And yeah, you out, you absolutely do. I mean, and you, it's not like you're not gonna be there, but they, they have, they have to know that they have to put that that in. Like, they, they almost you, you have to let. I was so something I was told is you almost have to let them hit their own rock bottom. And then they'll realize, and then that's when you're able to help. But if you interfere before they've hit that rock bottom, then it's simply like in, you, you're simply enabling them in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. It's, it's, I mean, I feel like that's how a lot of us learn. I mean, I, I, I didn't learn myself until, until I hit rock bottom and people had given me advices on what to do before and, it, yes. yeah it takes it's it takes it takes a lot for you to learn some, some <laughs> yeah. time. It takes takes a lot takes yeah. a lot just looking yeah. back and like, yeah it does take a lot because a lot of people did warn me my parents my grandparents warned me about a lot of things and until i experienced them myself i wasn't able to to really take into consideration what they were saying yeah and be like okay Maybe I should have listened a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely tell both of my kids, I say, I don't understand why you have, of all the genes and the traits and the whatever I can hand down to my kids, it was my inability to just listen 
and and my need to learn the hard way. I'm like, you guys are just every lesson has got it's that's the hard path every single time, you know, and yeah. it, it just like me. So I I I got I got to sit back, especially with my son. He's he's made a lot of wrong decisions. He's about to be 22, and it's hard to watch him, you know. Yeah. Hey, not that it's not not to commend uh, wrong decisions, but I feel like making wrong decisions does teach you a lot more than yeah. the right decisions though. In times, as long your... as, and it's okay to make a bad decision once, as long yeah. as you learn from it, learn from it. Exactly. then you, you know, but it's, it's that I'm going to do this and the next time I'm not going to get caught, you know, and then you get caught again and again and again, you kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Learn, learn from it the first time. Cause you don't want to, <laughs> You don't want to go through it a second time. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, I guess not I at all. So was there any, like, was there one moment in life when you realized this, whether it was with yourself or, or just with this, Bob, was it just this recent situation or was um, there? No, I mean, I, I, yeah, it was, that was the, the recent, the recent situation. Cause it wasn't, it was a lot longer. It was like, I was helping I was helping my friend out for, well, he's not my friend anymore, but I was helping that guy out for, I would say about a whole year. Like I spent a whole year. I lost a lot of money and I don't know if I'm allowed to say certain things here, but I don't think it's a bad thing, but the money was getting used behind my back for inappropriate things. Let's just say that. Okay. Yeah. So it was yeah it was a recent lesson because i'm a very giving person and i feel like you should we should all be giving you know and so we have a reason not to i feel like there's no reason not to because i always tell myself i'm nobody to judge i don't know your story and i don't know his story so if i'm able to help i'm gonna do whatever i can to help you know um but ever since then i was like okay maybe we got to keep our guards up a little bit more when we're giving because you could be giving, but you have to pay attention to, to what's going on because then you're just getting taken advantage of. And that's something none of us want. So, <laughs> Right, right. So in, in the process, you, I was just, I was going to ask you, you know, you know, how do you, how do you approach things a little differently? And now you said you've got your guard a little bit higher, you know, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I try to, I guess I would, I would say it's, it's hard because it's different with every situation. It's different with every situation. So I guess I would say, you know, not be as giving, you know, kind of, it's a kind of a give and take situation where you, you know, give a little bit of rope and then you pull some back, you know, don't, don't go in full fledged like I did, even though you might think like, oh, you think this person is going to turn their life around or you think that this person is going to, like, if you help them, if you're constantly there, for a whole year, you really think that this person is gonna, you know, come through. But I, I obviously that's not a thought in my head anymore. Like I, I'm more analytical and I think about, okay, am I helping him in the best way? Do I need to take a step back? Um, is this my position? Is this what's best for myself? So I start thinking about myself. I'm putting my myself, uh, you know, first letting myself know, okay, can I help him and still put myself first at the same time? Or am I doing too much for this person? Like, is it, is, is my actions to help this person affecting my life, my personal life, uh, right. which shouldn't, which shouldn't, it should not be affecting, affecting your personal life. That's at all. right. Yeah. You got a life to live and others got a life to live. You know, you have, we got to put ourselves first. Uh, sometimes put ourselves first. It's, so, yeah. it's it's it that you know and i find it's really hard to do that <clears throat> for me to 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 remember like i can't put myself on the line to help people like i can't loan certain people money because i know that i'm not going to get it back or you know i i certain people i've had to cut ties with because they still just do things that i can't be around so it's 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 hard you know sometimes yeah. you have to let people go you know and let people go be done. selfish at times yeah yeah, yeah. And that's it's, really it's, hard to do so. it is it is it is for some people for some people it is hard because a lot of people have it in their nature for some people it's very easy to be selfish and not that that's a bad thing i'm not saying that for the people that it's easy to be selfish it's a bad thing because i mean 
you're doing good for yourself and you're loving yourself and you're putting yourself before uh, others. But for others, I know it's very hard to uh, be selfish and put themselves first because they just want to help everybody out. You know, and I'm kind of in between. I like to help a lot now. I'm kind of in between. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm more self-aware. I'm careful now. Um, but others, is very hard to be to be uh, selfish. And they always want to be giving. And they end up getting so screwed over um, because of that trait. Because they just want to want to help everybody so much. And they see the best in everybody. Yeah. They try to see the best in everybody. And that's I think that was the big issue that. We really want to, like, you put this person up here when they're really down here. And that's what makes you want to help them so much because you're putting them at this level because of the love that you have for them because of, you know, the friendship that you guys maybe have built or whatever it might be. You you see the potential. You see the possibilities. You you see the ability. It's just, unfortunately, unless they see it too, you can't push that out of sight. Yeah, and it's funny that you mentioned that you see the potential because that was the biggest issue. I kept seeing the potential in this person for a whole year. I kept, I would talk to him. I would tell him, like, give him advice. Like, bro, you could do this and this and this and that. And you got it because I know you. Like, I know you as a person. I know that you're capable of this because we've known each other for so many years. Right. But that person didn't see it and see it in themselves. And no matter how many times you repeat it, if they don't, if they don't want to go through with it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's facts, okay. facts. Uh, if you guys are just tuning in, this is Sway. I am Silly Lily, and you are watching Lessons Learned. Um, we are talking about how no matter how much you want to help somebody, whether it's a friend, a family member, and anybody, unless they're helping themselves. There's, there's nothing we can do to, to help them sort of thing uh, other than let them know that we're here and we're ready when they're ready, you know, but you can't force anybody to make their life better. Um, yeah, Got to come from them. Got to come from them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what do you think, like stepping back, if you looked if, like looking at this situation, what do you think the, the biggest difference is that you're going to take approaching <coughs> you know, situations like this? Uh, analyzing when I know it's, it's time to step back. Um, I think, and I think it's gonna, I think it'll help me bring around, keep around people in my life um, that should be in my life. And those that don't want to, because I want to move forward in my life. I want to keep every day, take a step forward, take a step forward. And if we take steps back, we make sure to take more steps forward. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I feel like I, this will help those people around and people that won't, um, won't make me take steps back pretty much. It'll keep the people around me. Cause <laughs> if I'm giving energy to, to people, I want that same energy reciprocated. Yes. So, yes. Yes, so, that's, I, I think for me, after sitting here talking, sorry, my, my dog sneezing, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, but um, I think for me, it's, it's actually paying attention to the red flags because you ignore them because you can see that, that that's some, you know, that, that they can behave better or they can accomplish more or, you know, push themselves harder. But when they're not doing it and we can see that it's, it's not our, our, it's not in our ability to make them do that. You have to take the filter off kind of and see, see it for what it really is. Not for what it could be, but for what it really is at the moment. Cause yeah, I, I feel like that is that is a great thing. The red flags, you got to see them for what they are at the moment, not for your image of this person. That is a composed image of many memories that you guys have had over the years. Um, but it doesn't matter because people change throughout their life. And I caught that person thinking that they were going to be somebody else because I knew what they used to be. And then they were they were not the same person. Right. So definitely. So. Is there anything else you want to add to this? Because I have a question for you completely off topic of, of what we're talking now. No. Nope. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Uh, if you're just tuning in, guys, this is Sway. I'm Silly Lily. You're watching Lessons Learned, and we just went over trying to help friends and how you just can't unless they're willing to help themselves too. Yeah. 
I mean, on that on that uh, topic, I think we got it pretty much covered. Right. Pretty much covered. So then you said artist. More details, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, I make music. I make music. I I write Spanish music. I write mm -hmm. uh, hip hop music in English, and I have three a uh, three song project <laughs> coming out November twentieth on Spotify. <laughs> Apple Music, all your platforms. Um, I'm, my biggest inspirations are Akon, Eminem, so okay. like 2000s okay. type of people. But yeah. So uh, do you sing on stream here ever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you I actually, have I like a schedule? On, I'm going, I go on usually every day. Monday through Friday, my bad, not every day. Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. Eastern till around 10 p.m. And every time I'm on stream, I, it always happens. I always end up singing for whoever it might be or if I'm, I'm usually doing battles, going up against people and, and singing my songs okay. or just freestyling. So, okay. Yeah. All right, so 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern on most Monday through Fridays. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, so, nice. all right, guys, if you, if you miss this, um, you. you miss Sway, um, and do you have Snapchat, Instagram before I actually say goodbye? I forgot that. Yeah. I forgot that part. Yeah, I have, uh, my Instagram is Sway and then, uh, P at the end, eight, four, two, three. Okay. And I'll type it in after once I'm done. Do you have, so there's, there is a button really quick again, sort of off topic, but you can add through it's through the, the settings or something on the app. You can add like your Snapchat, your IG, so that if you click on your bio and scroll down, they can click on it and it'll take you directly to it. Okay. I know you said you were newer. So that's yeah, why I didn't I know, knew, I didn't I know if that. you, if you knew that, but you do, you will have the ability to connect the link straight to your profile. So um, if you want to reach out to me, I'll be on after the show for a little bit. I can walk you through that. Okay. Okay. All right. All yeah. Right. Sounds good. I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. I, I wasn't aware about that, but I just want to yeah. say thank you for the opportunity. Um, thank Thanks. you for, for, for having this conversation with me and it was a yeah. pleasure. Yeah. I love so everybody thank you. For the gift and everything. <laughs> thank you for being here. It's, that was a great topic. I, I appreciate you for being here and you guys please favorite sway. Let's go over and beg him to sing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see thank you at five tonight. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> just after actually because i'll have my auction at five but a little after i'll be in there all right sway i'll see you soon hon all right take care Pleasure. all right bye Mwah. <laughs> all right you guys that was sway we just got done talking about um his life lesson this time was how you can't help your friend and or family or anyone you love or anybody you know unless they're absolutely willing to help themselves first right um, so in the middle, in between my two guests, Neek 16, I'm going to say about six or seven minutes. We're just going to go quick and then Neek, I'll, I'll let you know. And then, um, I'll have you hop in. Okay. But if you are not Neek 6, Nico, well, you're Nico on here, but you're Neek 16. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> then I'll let you in. But if you're not Nico, please go ahead and, uh, remove yourself. Anyway, self-care question number one is always the same. What have you done for yourself today? What have you done for yourself today? I, <laughs> thank you, Alan. I did it myself today. <laughs> um, you guys again. And also really quick, I do, I want to thank everybody for the favorites. I want to thank everybody for the gifts and, and just for being here. I know time is precious and it's the one thing you can't get back. So, um, Gotti says that all the time. So I just, you know, again, thank you for, for being here. Okay. Um, and Gotti said I drank water. Mary says I had my coffee. <laughs> so, um, today for myself, I just, I get up and I do my morning show. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Monday through Friday, uh, Shed Goddess, Gotti, and myself have, uh, collaborated and we do a 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. morning show. I'll do, give you a little more information about that at the end. All right. But self-care question, or we'll do self-care. Hold on. Where's the questions? Here they go. Self-care question number one. 
What new activities do you want to try? What is it that you want to do that you haven't done yet? I want to go skydiving really, really bad. And I want to go camping in the real woods that where I'm not by a potty or a shower, right? Like I'm actually in the wilderness because I've done a lot of camping, but like I've never been camping where I could get eaten by a bear. So like, I just, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the adrenaline rush while I'm trying to fall asleep, terrified, I'm going to wake up so the bear will be worth it within itself, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. I want to get out there and I really want to do camping. Actually, I was talking with one of my friends about that this week. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you got to, you got to. If you're out there for a few days, right? <laughs> Not featured show material, so we will discuss this at 11.15, okay? <laughs> uh, we just visited up in the Upper Peninsula. It pictured rock and it was gorgeous. We did the 10 mile one day around course. Sway wants to go camping in Yellowstone. The red, I'm confused, Tim Jones. I'm not really sure what you're trying to say. Um, self, ooh, ooh, are you guys, do you guys want a serious one? You, you guys can answer this one. Can you guys answer a serious one? You ready? What scares me and how does it hold me back? Hello everybody, welcome to Lessons Learned. We are doing the self-care questions and self-care tip segment. Um, I have, this is my last question for this, um, but nobody's answering it because it's a serious question and it scares you guys. Ooh, Sway says loneliness. Lotus Cedars is making a big decision. <sighs> are you guys ready for mine? So my biggest fear is failure. What is your biggest fear? What are you scared of? And how does it hold you back? Um, and I'm afraid of failing. So what I thought for years and years is if I don't try, I can't fail. What I failed to realize is by not trying, you're automatically failing. So that was kind of like, oh, I've kind of failed at everything most of my life, right? <laughs> Snakes and it'll hold you back. <laughs> Failure, yeah. Yeah. You know? Ooh, take being taken advantage of and sway so that it holds them back because I'm constantly searching for a partner when I need to learn to love being alone. Yes, sway. Yes, 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 yes. Learn to love yourself and the rest will follow. I mean, I it took me a really long time to figure that out. Uh welcome everybody. Afraid Elizabeth says she's afraid she'll die before her grandkids grow up. I think that's a fear for most grandparents, and I'm I'm a young grandma, and I'm I'm afraid of that too. I'm trying to keep up with um. Running out of ammunition. Some of you guys are terrible. Oh, Gabby, it's kind of like you're yeah uh, losing the ability to do whatever you want, sort of thing. Yeah. You guys, again, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the favorites. Now I'm going to give you two self-care tips, and then Neek16 is going to hop in the box, and I'm excited to have you back. All right. Let's go back to, let's go to the, uh, this other list, because we haven't seen this part in a while. If one deals with water. <laughs> self-care tip number one, make sure you are consuming half of your body weight in fluid ounces of water per day. Self-care tip number one. You're welcome. Okay. Self-care tip number two. Get outside and enjoy nature, especially if you're like, you know, if you're in, 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 in America like me and it's about to be winter time where it's about to be a lot of snow and you don't go outside because it's cold and it sucks and it's miserable and it's, did I mention it's cold? So cold out there. 
So get out and enjoy, especially this weekend, y'all. It's going to be gorgeous. Kill it, beast, okay? And then the last one will be breathe in and breathe out. Something I have literally been doing at least 50 times a day, especially at work, is the breathing in. When you get frustrated or you feel yourself getting anxious, just stop and just breathe in for four seconds. Hold it for two or three, and then breathe out for five. And then hold it for two or three, and then breathe in for four, hold for two or three, breathe out for five, repeat. I promise you it helps. It helps slow everything down. By focusing on your breathing, it allows your brain to settle from whatever anxiety is popping into the back of your head, okay? All right, Neek, ready? All right. And I don't know what his topic is. We didn't get we didn't get to that. So I I will let him tell you all about it. And thank you for being here before you even get in the box. I appreciate you for coming back. How are you? I'm blessed. Thank you for asking it yourself. I'm doing really well. So far, so this far, great good. show. And I know you all you've had some good messages, so I'm excited for today. Of course. So, so um, I just like? want to tell the folks a little bit about myself. My name is Nico, but uh, officially, like business-wise, DBA for all my entrepreneurs and my, you know, you feel me, small businesses. DBA mean doing business as. So my DBA is Nick 16. Um, I'm an audio engineer, music producer, recording artist, songwriter, content creator, brand ambassador, and I do consider myself a professional live streamer simply because no matter what platform I go on, I put that effort in and I use like my professionalism and I handle it the right way. You feel me? So um, that's a little bit about myself. I am a top streamer from tag. Um, you know, this is just my like my third home besides TikTok. So I definitely love meet me slash POF and Scout. Um, so it's really dope. Um, I met uh silly lily through emoji j and she's just a spark you know what i'm saying spark of good <laughs> energy and she's a sweetheart so i really really like silly lily uh, um and um today i just would like to go over um i had to learn to like it's like a this is like more of a double entendre type of lesson um i had to humble myself you know and that 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 is a lesson learned that a lot of people need to learn is to humble themselves, and it's it's humble they humble thyself with patience you know what i'm saying so it's patience and humbleness you know what i'm saying and they go hand in hand a lot of people don't know that they go hand in hand um but they really do um how they go hand in hand is basically like last night i'm gonna give you and this is recent you know a lot of people talk about you know not knocking nobody about their stories and stuff because i brought up older stories before too um i want to reflect on a recent i'm talking about yesterday um this happened yesterday you know what i'm saying i was on tag and you know um i'm you know top 11 all time on tag you know what i'm saying and i really had to humble myself because i don't know like my patience was so thin y'all like you know um because a lot of us is not perfect and some of us dislike this i'm not the only one that dislike this when someone comes in your room and then you speak first because i'm a speak first type of guy i just i like to greet people warm with a warm welcome come in i speak to you nine times out of ten i'm speaking first and I have to learn not to discourage myself from not speaking to everybody. I can't take it out on everybody simply because a young lady last night had came to my live. I spoke to her. She didn't speak. I brushed it off. Restarted my live. She comes back in, didn't speak. So I had to brush that off again. But I ain't going to lie, I'm not perfect. I removed her out of anger because the simple fact is like, I feel like that's very, very rude. It's common courtesy. I was always told speak when spoken to. So I spoke to her first twice, you know what I'm saying? But in the same notion, um, basically like, I just had to humble myself. Like maybe, I don't know, maybe some females, they like lurking on you or some people just like, you know, being analytical and analyze you and want to observe first, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for that love. Um, you just can't go off 
what you would do. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's why I said my lesson is like such an entendre, you know what I'm saying? Because it's humbling yourself, patience, and try not to think people are gonna do the same thing you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Just because, say for instance, if I, if Lily, I come in Lily live and she speak to me, I'm, oh, she spoke. I'm gonna speak to Lily. I'm gonna be like, hey, you know, hey Lily. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to humble myself. So, you know, all of it, patience, and um, not expecting people um, to be exactly like you all flows under humbling themselves. That's why I say it's an umbrella. Humble is the main lesson learned. Humbling themselves. That's 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 my mess. My main lesson learned is humbling themselves today because it's so much goes under humbling yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like skip your status. Skip if you a multi millionaire. You got to humble yourself, you know what I'm saying? And w once you humble yourself, that's when everything flourishes way better. You know what I'm saying? Because another another topic under that umbrella, not just yesterday, I'm going to go with a, a, a less recent event, but it's very, very powerful. So I'm a musician as, as well. So, um, you know, back on my upbringing, before I started doing it professionally, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, Something I knew I can do, but it was a hobby because I only been doing music for three years professionally since 2019. But this was prior to 2019. Okay. Truth be told, I'm from Chicago. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know who Chief Keef is. So I've done a song with Chief Keef before he blew up. Thank y'all for that love. I did a song with Chief Keef before he blew up. And um, this is why I said I had to humble myself because he had good songs. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Kyle, sweetheart. He had good songs, but I just felt like I was a better lyricist. Right. And even though me knowing I'm a better lyricist, I should have still humbled myself. Even though, like, say, for instance, the song we did, right? Um, people love my part. You know what I'm saying? They love my part, this, then, the third. Um, you know, lyrics might have been better, this, than the third. But see, he ended up getting his break before I did. You know what I'm saying? Reason being is at that time I wasn't humble. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of like arrogant, slightly conceited. You feel me saying, oh yeah, I'm the better lyricist, da da da. They should be praising me, what the bam. But sometimes it's not about lyricism. Sometimes it's about a vibe, it's about a mood, it's about a feel. And in that area of Chicago at that time, they was feeling his story better. You know what I'm saying? So what if I can creatively come up with metaphors and punchlines, this, that, and the third? Sometimes music is not all about that. Music is about catching the vibe and music is about just like, just getting the crowd to feel it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I had to humble myself. You feel me? Because it's not always about what I like. It's not always if what, if, what if I think is good. You know what I'm saying? What I think good might not be good in your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it might sound good as far as like punchlines and metaphors and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but sometimes you guys don't want to listen to that all the time you know what i'm saying so that's my real real big lesson is like humbling myself for real for real. i really had to humble myself and i think i'm doing good on your show because I, I think i had three different topics this is my third time but all of them was <laughs> yeah. good. You know, that's I what know, i tried right? to do i tried to not mirror what i did before you know what i'm saying i want to every time i get on your show i want to have a different lesson learned because um, we just don't learn one lesson in life. We learn plenty of lessons and we got to pay attention and take heed to them. Lots. Um, how do you think you approach things a little bit differently since you've humbled yourself, especially with like your career? Do you think that being in the humbled state of mind, I guess, does it, has it, it's obviously benefited you, right? Like it, it definitely it, has. Appreciate it, Sway. Appreciate it, y'all. Um, it definitely has because I wouldn't have made it this far if I wasn't humble. You know what I'm saying? Had I not humbled myself, I would have did okay, but I wouldn't be as great as I am in all aspects, not just my music, as a streamer, as a person, as in general. You know what I'm saying? If I never humbled myself, I would not be at this stage. And I know that for a fact. Some people can be get away with being a-holes. I can't. You know what I'm saying? That's who I am. That's like, it's, it's scripted that, hey, Nico, you have to be the person that change. You have to be the person that's that positive, optimistic, humble person. You can't play the role of somebody that you're not. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I had to learn in life. You feel me? Like, just because another guy is getting away with being a bad guy, 
doesn't mean you're gonna get away with being a bad guy. It's like I know you, I know you all been through it. Like you see people cheat on the test at school, and you be like, okay, let me cheat because that person cheat, and then you get caught mm -hmm. cheating, but that person didn't. <laughs> yeah. It was meant for that person to cheat. You can't do yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Certain stuff. I, I was learning was meant for you was meant for you. So um, the way I approach it um, is basically like putting myself in other people's shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like say for instance, Sway, he's a new streamer and I, I salute him for that. Cause at one point I was just like Sway. I just started an app, no levels yet. You know what I'm saying? Just learning the app. So that's how I humble myself by putting myself in you guys shoes. You know what I'm saying? No one's in this world's perfect. And I'm not the only person in the world that been through a lot of stuff. Um, to shed a little light, what I mean by that, yes, my mom passed away. Yes, my sister passed away. Yes, I've been shot six times, but I'm not the only one that been through that. Um, just joining these apps, I ran across a lot of people that lost their mothers. You know, where their mother passed. I don't like saying lose because it's scientifically proven that energy doesn't die. So the energy still floats among us. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm not the only one who parent passed away or whose sibling passed away. And you know, some of you guys probably been stabbed before, been shot as well, this, that, and the third. So that's how I humble myself. Appreciate that good listener. So yeah, I definitely have to humble myself. That's so that's my my approach is basically putting your putting yourself in predicaments um that you're not comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only way you guys are gonna grow. A lot of us come become contempt and become so comfortable with a lifestyle that we have. Sometimes just imagine yourself without that and it'll make you go harder. It'll make you like appreciate what you have right now at this moment. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us think, oh, oh, I don't have this yet. I don't got this yet, but look what you do have. So yeah, that's how I approach it, Lily. You, you gotta just like, Put yourself, put yourself in people's shoes and not necessarily put yourself in a predicament, but pay attention to other people's predicament. And that, that'll be a way that you can humble yourself. You'll be like, oh, I see what he's talking about. Yeah, let me simmer down. Yeah, I, I keep coming up with questions to ask as you talk. And then you keep answering. So I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on with them. Come on with the questions. You I jump try. You keep answering them. It's hard to I, ask I, when I, you cover just, it I love for your me. Show. I, love, I love your show so much. I love your show so much because so, it's a what good do you, What do you use as motivation to stay humbled and stay positive and to continue on the right track to being so successful with what you do? I use my peers such as you guys you feel me um and also music um i listen to music and then like i'm not a religious person but i listen to like some gospel songs i listen to other genres and i listen to a lot of artists independent artists like instead of just industry people you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a humbling moment for me to take my time out because everybody's so old. Oh, let me listen to the city girls or let me listen to Lil Baby or Future or something like that. But it's humbling listening to other artists that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? So I like you know what I'm saying? just on TikTok the other day, I followed, you know, some guys that motivate me. They're not signed to a record label, they're independent artists but they're doing so good on TikTok. So I had to humble myself because most people, they be all bougie, don't follow people back that don't follow them back. So I humbled myself like, okay, so what if they don't follow me back yet? I'm still going to follow these guys because they're doing something that I love doing. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the dog was like, right. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I, uh, oh, I don't uh, even know this. He just he barks at nothing. I don't. It. Uh, he must. Um, agree. He has to agree. He has to agree. Uh, yeah, he was like right. <laughs> but um, so that's how I humble myself by listening to other independent artists. Listening to um, yeah, just thank you, sweetheart. Listening to other independent artists, and I'm a streamer too. So I mean, like I go in the new section, y'all. Like I like seeing the new streamers. You feel me? That's humbling. So I what if I'm not? So what if I'm top 11, you know what I'm saying? This, that, the third, whatever the case, all the accolades I hit. I like seeing the new talent that's coming to the app. It might, I might come across another artist that's brand new on the app I can collab with and stuff like that. And yeah. you, I just like humbling myself, just looking at other streamers 
some that's higher than me on the board, some that's lower than me on the board. I just like paying attention to others. So that's that's how I motivate myself to stay humble, just looking at what other people doing and seeing how well their success is and listening to other people's music and stuff like that. So that definitely motivates me, especially to see an independent artist. And I hear a song like, ooh, because I don't just listen to lyrics anymore. I listen to the way the song is mixed and mastered, the quality of the song, um, the feel, the mood. So that motivates me. I'm like, oh, stop. I'm so crazy. You feel me? So yeah, that's my motivation. I love I love coming in and hearing you sing. I'll I'll sneak in and creep on you sometimes. I'll be at work and I can't really talk, but I'll see you on and I'll push the button and I'll just listen. Ah, uh, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I can't talk because once I talk, I want to sit there and talk and I can't. So I just if y'all ever see me creeping, it's not because I don't want to say hi. It's because if I start talking to you, I'm not going to stop and I got to get stuff done. So that's. <laughs> that's I mean. You know. you even that i want to like elaborate on what you just said that just humbled me as well see that goes with what i was telling you earlier how the girl came in and mm -hmm. she didn't speak but she did it twice who knows what she was doing you know what i'm saying like so you That's just like, me don't well. kick me if you ever see don't me because right. it just means that i want to listen <laughs> So you you just humbled me. I appreciate that. See, I feel like the creative all creations make things happen for a reason. So I needed to hear that. So I'm I'm glad you just shared that with me because yeah. like I never like know. And another thing was aggravating me. Um, you know, tag we collab with World Star, right? So a lot of people get to just watch us without having an account sometimes, and that was aggravating me at first. But you just humbled me. I let them watch. Yeah. Let them listen to you. You yeah. never know. Like just because they don't have a tag account or be okay or they don't have a world star account, let them watch you because they're listening. You never know what message they're picking up off you. Or because I share my music stuff on my live all the time. So hell, just because they didn't come in my live, don't mean they not. Oh, let me download that Neek 16. Hold on. Let me. Right. What do you say? He's on Apple Music, Spotify. It could be. So, you know they. They could be reading your profile, you know, and then they and, and they say, oh, look, it's got music. What? And, you know, they, they they could just be going to look for the music that you got. You know what I mean? And you're like, why are you talking? You know, I don't know. I like to learn a lot. I like to learn about people before I get involved because I've been burned a lot, you know, on the app with people who you think are your friends. And then you're like, whoa, that I didn't expect that, you know? Right. So you just humbled me, though. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm glad you just said that. See, <laughs> you, know I mean? like, you just made me see. Learn the lesson or lesson learned. You but so I was like, like, I don't want to get kicked from your stream. And for two, I do do that, and that's you know. So that was just kind. of, I was like, I don't know if I should say it, but yeah, I will do that just because you know. Like I said, if I come in, I say hi. You say hi. I'm gonna go. How are you? I'm gonna go. How are you? And I'm like, what's going on? What's new? And then 20 minutes has gone by. And now I'm not going to finish the job that I got to get done. You know what I mean? So like that's, you know, but I, at the same time, I don't want to be alone and I want to listen to somebody. You know what I mean? It's this, this app has got me addicted. I'm weird. But is there anything else you want to add to this humbling yourself lesson? Or can we get into, you know, again, kind of how we can find you, what times you're on where and all that fun stuff, you know, the drill. Okay. So basically, um, I just want to say even this moment, just being on your show is humbling. I appreciate you for having me another time. Um, shout out to everybody that show love to you and me both. You know, everybody in the audience that's showing love. I really appreciate that. Even not appreciating that you sent me love, you sent somebody that I really like and enjoy, which is Silly Lily. You sent her love. So I appreciate that first and foremost. Um, and yeah, like always remember to stay humble. You feel me? Just stay humble. You know what I'm saying? He I living in the back, like, yeah, Nico, get him. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm so, Sorry. You gotta stay humble. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's all. And um, yeah, that's that's all I got on that. Like, that's just a lesson that I really, really want y'all guys to pay attention and take heed to. Humble thyself. Um, now a little bit about me. Like I said, um, I'm in the music industry, what they call a hundred percenter. So not only am I an artist, I do audio engineering, which is mixing and master. So if you need me to fix the quality of a wedding video, fix the quality of anything that you got sound wise. Cause not only am I a audio engineer, I'm a sound engineer. So if you need quality fixing this, then the third, just hit me up anything musically inclined. 
Um, three apps that I love streaming on. I stream on Meet Me, POF, no, no, Meet Me, TikTok, and Tag. So if you want to check Tag out, if you want to check TikTok out, you can find me with the same name, Nico or Neek16. You can type in just any or. My music is on all platforms. I'm on Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, iHeart Radio, whatever you can think of. Check me out. I'm a good listen because I'm not always about that shoot them up, bang, bang stuff. You feel me? I actually have some type of content. You feel mm-hmm. me? And it was a blessing to be on your show, Silly Lily. I really appreciate everybody that showed love to both of us. And I just hope everybody have a wonderful, blessed day. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much again for being here. You guys, this is Nico. We just got done talking about... Um, <clears throat> humbling ourselves and how it's super important if you haven't done so hit them with the favorite and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the little ending part of the show bye honey <laughs> you guys Nick, this is not his first rodeo with me he's um he's been absolutely awesome every time he gets on here so this was the first card i pulled out and i I'm not supposed to acknowledge the gifts, but you sent me a kiss. That one I can't ignore. <laughs> so this one hit me and kind of hit me hard. And I thought to myself, you know, I think that what Nico, I, this, this, this made me think of you today, Nico. Um, I think from like a previous message sort of, but it says I've done well. Now we're not going to answer this now. We're going to answer this at the end of next week. Okay. So I'm going to ask this. I'll read it once. You guys can kind of ponder it. I'll read it again in a minute. But it says, I've done well, but the reason is pretty simple. I've worked my A double S off. The toughest thing a performer can do is make it look as if it comes easy. What one thing have you worked the hardest at? And I already know your answer, Nico. So everybody else, you can be here tomorrow to answer this. Don't answer it now. We're going to answer this next Friday morning, approximately 10.06, 10.07 a.m. Okay. Absolutely. Hold on. Let me give you, I, I hate there (laughs) my nails from work. I do home modeling. I don't care how many times I scrub my stinking fingers. They don't, they just don't. Right. So, okay. So you guys, thank you for being here. You missed uh, sway and talking about how it doesn't matter how much we want to help somebody unless they are willing to help themselves there's absolutely nothing we can do aside from letting them know when they're ready that we will be here to help um not necessarily in the way they want us to but you know um and a little bit about me i don't always do this but i don't know if you guys are familiar with top badge warrior she is hosting an auction tonight and uh, I will be dressing up and I've not told a lot of people what I am dressing up as. So it's sort of a surprise. So if you want to check that out 5 PM tonight and then uh, Monday through Friday, shed goddess, Gotti and myself host a morning show. Shed goes on from six to nine. I go on or Gotti goes on from seven to eight and I go on from eight to nine ish. Um, so if you guys are bored Monday through Friday in the mornings while you're waking up, trying to get something done, tune in, check us out. We have a lot of fun and all three of us stream very differently. We have very different styles. Um, other than that, you guys, I want to thank Nico, um, who talked about humbling our humbling ourselves and how it helps us become more successful. And I think it overall makes us a a kinder person right like when you're when you're when you learn me he said it's patience goes hand in hand and um i think that to touch topic really quick it's only 11 i have just a minute i think um patience and i think a lot of the problem i call it ig syndrome i call it the instant gratification syndrome this is my own made up syndrome i'm not a professional you cannot be diagnosed with this so don't go trying to tell your doctors that you got it okay it's just something i made up for my kids but i call it the ig syndrome instant gratification because everything is at their fingertips okay when i had a school paper i had to wait till my mom got home to take me to the library 
or I had to get home, get on my bike, ride to the library. You know what I mean? I didn't just have a, I didn't, I, could, I didn't even have a computer when I was younger. Right. So it's a matter of, of when we, when I was a kid, I had to learn patience because nothing was at my fingertips. We had to wait, you know, um, there wasn't as much fast food around like there is now. Oh, so there was, you know, you were hungry. You waited for mom to finish dinner. It didn't matter how late she was. You waited, you know, um, thing, uh, even just like games, you would play board games with friends and, but now you just get online and you, you, you instantly have anything you want. It's instant. Nobody really has to wait. Like, you know, you get these moms, I had to wait 10, I had to wait 15, 20 minutes in the doctor's office. My kid was freaking out. It's not the doctor's office, ma. That's your fault. <laughs> Bring a game to play with your kid. Bring your kid some toys. Interact with your child. Or you can take the easy way out and just give them a device. So that when you don't have a device, the battery's low, your child acts like a butthole. Right? So, that being said, <laughs> I just, that, that kind of, I didn't want to throw that in on your thing, but it is definitely something when I, that, that crosses my mind frequent. Um, I feel like we don't make our children, like I test my children regularly, my daughter and then and my grandson. They, if they want something, I make them wait. I make them earn things even. My daughter wants things, I make, the, I make her earn it. And I just give it to her. She wants to buy lunch. That costs me more money. I need you to do this in return. Well, I don't wanna do that, mom. Okay, then I'll make your lunch. But tomorrow's pizza. Okay, then I need the garbage taken out. <sighs> you know, and it's like I'm not just kidding. You've, you've got to earn stuff. You've got to teach people that you don't get what you want just because you want it, right? So now that it's 11:03, I've said my piece on that. You guys, you just missed an amazing episode of Lessons Learned. I'm Silly Lily. We had Nico also known as Neek 16 and Sway on today. And we talked about humbling ourselves and we talked about um, how no matter how much we want to help somebody, unless they're helping themselves, there's not a whole lot we can do aside from letting them know that we can be here for you emotionally when you're ready. Um, you guys are both amazing. Thank you both so much for being a part of this show. And I'm going to show you the Q and Q one more time so that you can be here next week at 10 AM and give me your answers. Okay. It says I've done well, but the reason is pretty simple. I've worked my a double S off. The toughest thing a performer can do is make it look as if it comes easy. What it, what one thing have you worked hardest at? Don't answer this now. We're going to answer this at the beginning of next week. There's literally nothing out there. You're getting the caller before the show next week. I'm done. We're not doing this again next week. You're a bad dog. You're a bad, bad dog. No, you can't kiss me now. No, that's not forgiving. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, uh, I'll be back on in about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Uh, if you guys want to come chit-chat, you want to hang out, um, I don't know. I I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but we'll probably have some music going and just BSing. I'm going to get the costume together for tonight. Um, but, yeah, I got to end this. So if you guys haven't done so already, please hit that favorite. Make sure you have my top three gifters favorited there along with a special. Would you stop? Come here right now. I am trying to talk and you are so rude. Okay. So I want to thank Nico, NorCal, Gotti, Legs C Pam, Sway, good listener, Amber, Marie, Mary, sorry. Marie, no, it's definitely Marie. 
Find Me Nemo, Booty Shake Jake, Tim, Fred, Slim, Chad, The Brat, Kitty, G Mommy, and I think that was everybody um, for being, um, for participating in the gifting scheme of things. Oh my God, you ding dog. Oh, my dog's killed me. I gotta go. I got <laughs> He tortures me. I swear to God. All right, before I have to yell at him again on stream, I will see you guys next week, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, I love you, I believe in you, and never, ever give up on your dreams. Guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. <laughs>